Did you know that you can use Silhouette Studio to turn any JPEG or PNG file into a multicolored decal like this one? It's not as difficult as you may think. We're gonna go over all the steps in this video. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You found your way to Silhouette Success. There's a lot of information to go over today, but you can do this. So grab a file and let's get started. I started my day off in Creative Fabrica and I searched up cute animal coloring pages and there were a ton of options but I chose to go ahead with this one. I did download it and I've unzipped the file already so we can head over to Silhouette Studio. Let's click on file and merge. That will bring up your files. I already had this one open and I'm going to work with this little guy today. The first thing we are going to do is grab a trace of this image. So click on your trace panel. Then you're going to want to select the trace area and draw the box around your image and click on trace. We can delete the original at this point. Let's fill him in with color for a minute to get a better look. There are some of these pieces that I am not going to use. All of these little bits and pieces around the edges, I am going to get rid of. I don't want them here. We're going to switch this back to no fill color. Let's right click and you can see that the ungroup option is grayed out. We cannot just ungroup this and start working. We need to release the compound path. And this does make a mess. We are not going to stress out about that. We're going to click off that so that all of that mess goes away. Now we're going to start selecting the bits and pieces that we know we don't want and just delete them. I'm going to hold down my shift key and go through and select these on the outside and I can press delete on my keyboard. I missed one down here. Just select that and delete. Now these little bits down here I need to get rid of, but they are attached to his feet. Let's go ahead and zoom in. We can double click on this and that pulls up the editing points. Zoom in again and I am just going to start deleting the points that I do not need. That looks better. Let's go on to the next. Now to get a better idea of what we're actually working with, we can select this layer. This is the outline and fill that in with black. And let's move that away for a minute. We can select all of these bits here and set them to green. And we can slide this guy back in here and you can see that we are definitely making progress, but we're not there yet. Now I know that I want all of his shell to be a darker green. So we can start selecting those pieces by holding down our shift key and clicking on each one. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the color fill panel from the right hand side today because I wanna use this slider, this custom color palette here, and I wanna go up a bit darker. Now that custom color has been added here and here. Now I want to take and make his belly a lighter green. So let's select all of those. And I'm going to go with this greenish yellow here. You can see that there is more detail now and we are getting closer to where we need to be. His little face is still a mess though. These little bits in his eyes should be white and we can select this one and fill it in with white because it's a closed path. This one, however, has an opening here and we need to fix that before we can fill this with white. Go ahead and zoom in on that, double click on that line and bring up our editing points. And we are going to work on separating these two. We need to close this circle and then close this outside of his eye. In order to do that, we need to select a point and come over here to break path. Click on that 
and you'll notice that this red dot comes up. You want to grab that dot and just pull it away. So this piece of it goes to the outside. Let's just move it up over there. And this piece goes to the inside. We're going to do the same thing for this side. Select an editing point and break path. Grab the dot and move it away. That goes to the outside. And then we have this for the inside. Whenever you have two red dots like this, you can grab one and pull it over to the other and it will snap closed. So now this is a closed path and we can fill this in with white. I'm going to adjust these editing points just a little bit though to give this a better curve. And then we can move on to closing this path as well. Grab one red dot and just pull it right over to the next. Now that looks a bit wonky. Let's see if we can just delete that. That's a little bit better. I think that's going to be just fine. So once you have finished your editing points, we've, fin we've got the closed path for the outside and we have the closed path for the inside. We want to right click and release the compound path. Now they are separate pieces. So we can select this part and fill it in with white. The only other thing that I really want colored in is his tongue. So let's select that and fill that in with red. And we're going to start working on grouping by color. So let's go up to our select by color tab here. It's gonna open up this panel. We're gonna go through each of the colors and make sure that everything is grouped together. Select the first green, right click and group. The darker green, right click and group and so on. Now there was only one red piece so we don't need to group that and there was only one black piece. So now we can start moving these colors away. And since we wanted all of the rest of these details to be in black, we can make a compound path. We switch colors, that's okay. Go ahead and change it back. And now if you slide the base layer back in here, you can see that that has done exactly what we wanted it to do. Now the only thing left is to cut each one of these out of the corresponding colors, but let's put them back together and see how he's going to look when it's all done. Super cute. Now I have scaled this little guy down and I've separated all of the pieces, but I want to place the bits and pieces in a way on the design mat that makes it easier to set up my cutting mat. I am going to run all of these pieces through on the same mat. I'm going to grab a guide from the top and bring it down so that it's at the six inch mark. And I'm going to bring a guide from the side and also put that at the six inch mark. Going to place this layer up in this corner and this layer up in this corner. And I can cut each of these out of a five by four scrap of vinyl. So I will put a black scrap in this corner and I will put a green scrap in this corner. Here's his tongue and I'll just cut out a, probably a one by one square for this and I can place it right in the middle here. Now when I have my one by one scrap, I will know that I need to place that just at the six inch line on my cutting mat. If we place his shell here, we'll know that we need to cut a scrap of dark green that is two inches by three inches and the upper left hand corner will be right in the middle of the mat. We set the whites of his eyes down in this corner. We can cut out a two by one piece of white vinyl and we can set this down in this corner and cut out a two by two for his belly. Let's go to the send panel. My machine is not connected yet, but I am going to go ahead and choose vinyl mat. 
And once my machine connects, I will bump the blade up. I like to cut my vinyl out at a two instead of a one. Let's move over and get our cutting mat ready while this finishes up. Then we'll just need to click on send to get it to cut out. Okay, these are today's color choices. We have the dark green, the light green, and I went with this gold shade for the greenish yellow. I'm not sure if I'm going to be happy with it, but it's what I have on hand. I have my black and my white and my red. Should be all ready to get the mat set up. Part of today's lesson is measure once, cuss twice. I'm going to have to redo my green because I did not cut my green vinyl wide enough. If you are not using parchment paper to help line up your layers, you are missing out. Parchment paper makes this job so much easier. You can see the layer underneath, line everything up perfectly, and then just press down the top edge, remove the parchment paper, and then smooth the rest of it out. You can use this technique to create shirts or multicolored decals. Layering in Silhouette Studio allows you to create so many different projects and they all turn out beautifully. This is one technique that you are going to use a lot. If you decide to make a project using this technique, I would love it if you would show it off in the Facebook group. You can find it under Silhouette Success and I will link it in the description below as well. Now go create something amazing and I'll see you in the next video.